Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is your daily KASP update for Tuesday, March 30th. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't turn out to be a midday update, but things certainly are not over. Um, as you may have heard, the Kansas House debated House Bill 2119, the education funding, private school aid, remote control restricting, teacher bonus giving bill. Um, and the short answer is it was advanced to final action. They did not take a final vote. We are expecting this evening that there will be the final vote. It could also wait till tomorrow. We're not sure. There's still time to contact your, your representatives. We're still opposing the bill. There were a couple of amendments made, and we thought we'd just real briefly kind of give you the, the status of things. Guys, jump in, but I think, they help me if I'm wrong, or not quite getting this right. A couple of amendments were, number one, the provision creating new education savings accounts, a big expansion in kind of our private school aid portfolio, if it would pass, was amended to require that participating schools had to be accredited, but apparently not state accredited. And so that means schools would not have to give kids the same assessments and provide the information that state accreditation does. Most major private schools, Catholic schools, the Lutheran schools, are state accredited, some are not, um, and, and that's how we understand this am amendment. The second thing is, uh, and this is, it's, it's major, but it's not dispositive. It was amended to remove a provision that says education savings accounts can be opened by any free or reduced lunch kid. Instead, you have to be uh, qualified to receive at-risk services by your public school. So what this means is essentially a student would have to have some measure of academic need. They would not have to have any financial need. So if you were, if you were uh, behind on a grade level, you could, your family could be millionaires and you could still qualify under this. But if you were just a, a free or reduced lunch price kid doing fine, you wouldn't qualify. Whether this really changes the numbers is unclear. And it still doesn't change the fact that it's the private school which ultimately can make that determination of which kids to serve. In the last amendment, we haven't, I've not looked at closely at major amendment, was um, uh, to give some flexibility for the state board to kind of grant waivers for remote learning. Again, this helps the concern. We continue to believe that the state does not need to restrict local school boards and how they respond to pandemics or, or structure the way they want to deliver services. Those are really decisions we think should be made locally by local boards accountable to their community. Guys, if I forgot something major, or do you want to pitch anything else that you heard or are hearing today? I'll go ahead, Leah, if you have any. No, I, I don't think you forgot anything. Okay. Oh, I'm going to take that back, Scott. You can think of any, anything. There is, it's probably kind of a technical issue, but may remember that as the House amended the bill, they do not require, but strongly suggest that boards use their COVID, their federal aid to give teacher bonuses. Well, it's been pretty much established that you can't use it to just give a bonus. However, um, you might be able to tie it to compensation if it can be related to COVID. And our understanding is this was an amendment that kind of tailors that it doesn't say bonus would say additional compensation that could be tied to COVID. Uh, whether that uh, affects it or not, we're not entirely sure. Remember, this is something that would not be a requirement in local districts, but the legislature is sort of saying, you know, teachers have, have been through a lot. This would be a way to reward them. I'm guessing a lot of boards will be looking at those kind of issues anyway. Uh, but so this doesn't doesn't require anything, but it does change the language a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. And anything else I'm forgetting? No, just just that you know all the amendments were offered by Republicans, so obviously they're trying to uh, sweeten the bill to get more members of their caucus. Democrats are obviously opposed to this. So the ranking Democratic uh, member of the committee, uh, uh, Valdini Win Win, who's a board member on Can Kansas City Kansas School District you know, basically said private schools can discriminate against any student that they want to, so the, the bill's not okay with her. So uh, we'll, we'll see if they have the 63 votes to pass this uh, or not, maybe later tonight, or as you said, tomorrow, maybe. I think by all accounts, and certainly everyone we talked to at this point says it is 
likely to be very, very, very close. So uh, we know that legislators are hearing their leader from their leadership, particularly on the Republican side. Republican leaders are strongly pushing this. So if you've got concerns from your district, you need to make sure legislators are also hearing from from people in their own district. So that that means you. Uh, we don't know when this will come up for a vote, but it, it really could happen relatively soon. The House is still debating the, the rest of the educate the rest of the state budget, which is in a different bill right now. Uh, and I guess I'll just note that the only bill in the Senate today was the um, civics test bill. Uh, apparently, there's now some confusion. Some Senate committee members think they didn't fully understand and and are and are kind of suggesting that it's not really a requirement to graduate, although it is a requirement for a course that you have to have to graduate. So don't know what that debate's going to look like. It was passed over. Um, I think the I think the feeling is it, it's likely to pass. It may be a question of how many concerns are raised. Um, we'll tell you more about that later. So guys, before I finish, I'll let you get in the last words if you want. Our plan will still be to come back later tonight when we kind of know for sure uh, what, what the uh, what the final action will be, whether it's uh, uh, tonight or tomorrow. Anything else, guys? No. Okay. I know you guys have been working and listening and typing, so uh, we'll just tell people who've got questions, let us know. But really, critical time to be talking to your House members right now this evening. So thanks a lot. We'll be coming to you later tonight, uh, and we expect tomorrow uh, as we uh, – it's tomorrow should be the last day unless they finish tonight in either house, the last day of most floor action this week. Thank you all.